We are here to express our frustration, to express our anger through the office of the international relations minister honorable Naled pando we know that this is the office through which we can also reach or air our grievances to the republic of south africa president Cyril ramaphosa Therefore, we will do this in a very disciplined, orderly manner. Yes. We will do it in a way that you will prove that we understand what we are doing. Yes. We know what we are here for. Yes. Now, the time that we were given to hand over the petition, I'm told it will uh, end it over at exactly half past one. I'm yet to confirm with authorities, but that is the time I was told we will hand over the petition. So for now, I will ask two or three leaders who represent other organizations to come and speak while you are waiting for the officials who will receive our petition. But let me just say this, that as Zimbabweans, we were so much, we had our rights violated so much that it has reached a point where we cannot just fold our hands and look at the situation as it is. <laughs> the situation is so bad to such an extent that given another five years, I will not be surprised that bodies will be dying, will be dropping in the streets. If bodies will be, people will be dying. We are being led by a deep military state that kicked in in 2017 November. And when that happened, all our brothers and sisters around the Exotic, they watched helplessly as well. All our brothers and sisters around Sadiq, they could not do anything. Jamisa, oh yeah! Oh yeah! oh yeah! Citizens, oh yeah! Now what happened is that when they came in, in a coup, actually Sadiq, AU, and other international bodies were supposed to respond and declare that government illegitimate but they decided to give them a chance for five years they gave them five years now what happened is that five years we expected reforms we expected the reforms in terms of the body that manage ele elections but Zanupia did not give a damn about that. Yes. We expected reforms in terms of the media. You can see here in South Africa, opposition political parties, they have acres and acres of air to voice, to be, to be speaking, to be broadcasted freely and campaign freely. Yes. This you cannot find in Zimbabwe. Yes. 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 We were expecting that there will be reforms in terms of the uh, Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. We thought the it was going to be independent as the constitution state, but ZANPF and the government decided to suspend the constitution and feed their own sons, their own daughters to manage elections. That is, there is evidence to that. Therefore, we thought perhaps let's go for elections to see and also to show the world that we have people on our side. Yes. But what happens is where we are now. What happens is what Satic actually found out. This is a, there is a report by Satic election observers, CEO, that found out the illegalities irregularities i mean and that found out that the election was flawed the whole process was flawed 
they gave what they call a damning report. They were flawed, and I will read some few things here before I hand over. I want you to know what you are going to hand over. This is a call for South Africa uh, to promote an acceptable solution to the Zimbabwean political situation. We are saying the Zimbabwe general elections of August 23-24 have been condemned as fraudulent not only by the country's opposition, but by credible international institutions such as Southern African Development Community, SADC, uh, Electoral Observer Mission called CIEM and other independent observer missions from the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA, and the African Union, AU. The elections again exposed the ZANPFC unshamed, deliberate disregard for the law, certain principles and guidelines governing democratic elections and general international voting standards. Now, SADC should act on its own CIEM report. The electoral environment was uneven, exemplified by the following. Number one, there were deliberate minimum 12-hour delays in the distribution of ballot papers to opposition strongholds such as Arare, Mulawayo, Manikaland, and Masingo. There were irregularities in the delimitation constituencies. You know where there were strongholds of the opposition, the, the constituencies were limited, were compressed. If there were five, they were made to be two. But where San PF knows they've got a few people on the corner, they will divide those and increase those constituencies and make them more. Now there were delays in releasing the voters' roll, resulting in missing in missed opportunity to conduct an audit. We don't even know how many ghost voters were there. Yes. Yes. That yes. voters' role was not researchable, was not analyzable. Yes. Yes. In yes. other democracies, a voters' role must be given more time for all opposition parties Thank to be you, able to look and yes. see if it is legit. Yes. yes. Restriction in the freedom of assembly and expression emanating from draconian legis legislation like the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act, MOPA, and the Patriotic Act, which criminalize anyone who criticizes Zimbabwe sovereignty. Yes. There is no freedom of speech in Zimbabwe. Yes. We have this has been exemplified by one some of our cutters like Job Scala, yes. like Mbari yes. Fumi, yes. and many others who are languishing in jail yes. for justice expressing their mind, yes. for exercising their right for expression, their right to freedom of expression. In restrictive nomination fees that limit participation like the unprecedented 20,000 for the presidential nominees. Now we would know that there were our members of parliament, of people, our candidates, they were made to pay 20,000 US dollars. That's a plus or minus 800,000 rand. Yes. And almost, I mean 400,000 rand, almost half a million rand. So, this is not happening in other democracies, even in South Africa. Yes. Evidence of lack of judicial independence. Deployment of the forever associates Zimbabwe, a front for Zimbabwean state intelligence throughout the country, thus compromising the vote. Problems of party state conflation, bias coverage by the state media. What is the which contributed to the resolution of Zimbabwe's governance problem. It is in South Africa's interest to see a thriving and stable Zimbabwe. A comatose Zimbabwean economy will continue to cause the influx of legal and illegal immigrants into yes. South Africa. Yes. Yes. A situation that is fueling xenophobic harassment and violence against Zimbabwe. Yes. As you can tell, 
right when these elections, these sham, shambolic elections, were announced by this compromised Zimbabwe elected body, we had only three presidents president, out of 54 member states in AU. Only three came to, to Zimbabwe to congratulate a man who came out of an illegitimate situation. Yes. And who among those three? President of the Republic of South Africa. Yes. 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 You could know very well yes. that the problem of immigration in this country is leadership governance in Zimbabwe. Yes. And you know very well that the sanctions that Zan PF keeps on pro doing propaganda around the world yeah. and want people to believe those sanctions were never called by Triple C, yes. they were never called even by MTC oh, Mok yes. and Changirai. Yes. Let me tell you why. Yes. Our, our champion, the late Carter, an icon, Morgan Chang, Richard Changirai, when he was calling for punitive measures for a dictator, he wanted that to go to come through the United Nations. Yes. Yes. There are no sanctions through the United Nations. Yes. There's, there's no sanctions, there's with cold war, which came about through the call of MTC. Yes. The sanctions that we hear, those selective targeted sanctions are uh, came there are illegal sanctions. Yes. We never called for illegal sanctions. Yes. So that propaganda is a lie. Yes. And the main sanctions in Zimbabwe is Zan PF. Yes. Is the main trouble causer. Yes. The people, the economy, they destroyed it. Yes. They looted it. Yes. They plundered. Yes. They, you, you know about the mafia. Yes. You know about the yes. and and his children. Yes. Everything in yeah. Zimbabwe. Yes. That is the main sanctions we have. And after destroying that economy. The people of Zimbabwe have left Zimbabwe and are all over the world. Yeah. As you see in South Africa, there are a lot of Zimbabweans here. Yes. yes. And a lot of South Africans are furious and are angry. Yes. We understand the South African yes. ordinary people. Yes. But they should target the real problem. Yes. yes. The problem yes. is the one that lives in South Africa yes. and go to Zimbabwe yes. justify yes. stolen elections. Yes. That is the problem. Yes. That is the author yes. of our misery. Yes. That is the author of our poverty. Yes. You cannot go and justify something that causes in the influx migration into this country yes. and come and blame Zimbabweans. Yes. Zimbabweans have chosen their own leader, their own government, yes. and you go there and you try to sanitize the evil manipulation of voters mm. in Zimbabwe. It's wrong. Yes, it's wrong. We find it divinely any logic. Yes. That the president of republic will go and celebrate the crashing, the downfall of our economy yes. in Zimbabwe. Yes. Yes. And come here yeah. and actually authorize mass deportations. Mm. It is something that we say is no, no, no to that. Yes. Yes. We have evidence. Yes. Yes. And this evidence is recorded in South Africa. Yes. There was campaign the commission 2002. Yes. It was said these are judges. Yes. They came out with irregularities with a lot of rigging. It is there even today they don't want to release that report. That report yes. yes. We know what happened in 2008. Yes. We know the Mtande Commission. Yes. 
Now that we have at least a body called of member states, SATIC, which has come and gave us a report, a clear report for yes. the first time. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you member yes. states. Yes. This has never happened. Yes. Comrade Ramaphosa, we know you as champion of human rights. Yes. We have seen you walking up and down South Africa while the ANC was banned. Yes. We have seen you marching yes. for the human rights. Yes. The same people who are crying about immigration, about these illegal and illegal immigrants, they are here. Mm. They are crying yes. because of your government yes. that is justifying the wrong thing. Yes. The people of Zimbabwe, if you allow them to choose their proper their leader, yes. you will never see them here. Yes. So, I call upon the president not to read the SATIC report. Yes! yes. Leave it as it is. Please. Allow SATIC summit to take place. Yes! yes. We have heard that there was supposed to be a SATIC summit in Kauron tomorrow. Yes! But all of a sudden, through and difficult circumstances to understand, they have they have already postponed and cancelled it again. Why? 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 You know what is likely to happen? Yes. Why? Is that if they want to give the Amazon an opportunity yes. to destroy yes. the triple C? Yes. yes. To destroy the opposition. Yes. To destroy the party. Yes. Okay, thank you. I hear now that the time has come. I will uh, wrap up now. Yes. They want to disable the opposition in Zimbabwe. You know that they got their own proxies. In the name of Shaba and Usengeso, yes. they had their own proxies before. Yes. In the name of Mozora, yes. now they brought another one, yes. which is very sad. Oh, that war, that is what they are doing for Mr. Shaba. Is not doing for the, the is not doing it for the Tevela people. It's a lie. Yes. It's not a genuine fight. Yes. It's a lie. Yes. He is doing it for Zan PF. Yes. We therefore demand you and fresh elections. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Yes.